My family is in big trouble because this huge meteor is about to hit our village. Can me and my brother Milo build a secure modern base to keep our family safe? That meteor is about to hit any second, Chip. Our families are totally not safe. You're right, Milo. We have no time to waste. Let's get building our secure modern base. We need to find the perfect spot to start, and I think this wishing well will be perfectly secure. Oh, really? Don't be nervous, Milo. The wishing well has water in it, and everybody knows that water helps stop explosions, so we can build our base under the wishing well. Wow, that's a very secure idea. And we're also kind of behind a mountain. Wow, this is gonna be epic. Yeah, I'm just placing a trapdoor down here now. We can dig underneath it to make a super deep, secure bunker base. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna make the coolest bunker ever. Oh no, the water drips down. I don't think I dug down deep enough. Let me go a little bit further than that. Okay, I'm gonna help you dig, cause everyone knows I'm the speediest digger in the world. Yeah, I guess you are, but only behind me. I'm so quick at digging. Look how fast we made this hole, Milo. Yeah, we did a good job, except we made a bit of a mess. A little bit, but not too much. Now we need to dig in this direction to clear the space we will need to make all of our rooms. This underground bunker is totally gonna protect us from this little meteor. What a loser! Um, Milo, there's just one thing. It is not a little meteor. It only looked small because it was so far away. It's gonna get a lot bigger the closer it gets to us. Wait, what? I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, maybe we won't be okay. We better build the most secure base the world has ever seen. Definitely, we need multiple levels of our secret base. If the meteor is big enough, it'll drill all the way to the Earth's core, so we have to make sure our base goes really far deep down. I wonder how long we're gonna be down in this bunker. I have no idea. We have to assume that it will be a while though, so we need to build as many cool rooms as we can that we want to spend all our time in. I better have an awesome running room, about me is I love to run in circles. Yeah, it's kind of silly. I see you doing it all the time, especially in the morning. How do you have so much energy when you wake up? Well, because I get really bored when I'm sleeping and all I want to do is play with my friends. So when I wake up, I like to go for a Zoom. I guess the early bird really does get the worm, Milo, but now we need to build a kitchen so that we both have lots of stuff to eat. A kitchen? But I don't even know how to Oh, that's okay, Milo. The kitchen will have a fridge full of stuff inside that you don't even have to cook. Like birdseed? Yeah, and look, we even found emeralds. Uh-oh, that is a cave. Look, it goes for a really long while. We need to block off this cave so that the meteor can't blow up through the tunnel and get us. Yeah, and maybe sometimes there's monsters in the cave. I don't want to get eaten by monsters. No, definitely not. I say the kitchen can be through this wall, right underneath the mountain and next to the emerald we found. I want the kitchen to be blue, because that's my favorite color. Milo, it can't just be blue. We both need to be happy inside it. Well, you don't even go into the kitchen. You're always baking cookies in your bedroom. What? That's not true, Milo. I always bake my cookies in the kitchen. If I baked cookies in the bedroom, I would be hungry forever and I would never sleep. Yeah, well, you barely sleep because you're always yapping. If I'm yapping, Milo, that's because the food I cook is always slapping. I think our kitchen needs bells. What? Milo, no. If we have any bells in our kitchen, it's going to be a dinner bell from all the amazing food we cook. For us and our families, Milo, we all have to survive in here together, and we're not going to be able to do that on an empty stomach. I totally forgot that we need to bring our wives and our children down here. Yeah, we really do, so we don't have a lot of time. I'm going to make the floor of this kitchen out of andesite, and I'm going to make the walls out of white terracotta. Yuck! Andesite is so ugly! No, it's not, Milo. It's a really beautiful block. Look, it looks just like stone, but it's way smoother and nicer. I but I guess I'll help you build the kitchen. Thanks, Milo. I need all the help I can get. If we both build this kitchen together, we'll have it done in no time. I'm going to make the ceiling out of crimson planks. What is this color scheme? 
You're such a bad designer. No, I'm not, Milo. It's gonna look really beautiful. You just have to trust me. When it's all done, it'll look so perfect. Fine, I'll trust the process, but it better be tip top notch for my kid and my wife. Hey, my kid and my wife are gonna be here too, so it definitely will. Now, we need to get a bunch of inside cabinets, and I know exactly the furniture I'm gonna get. First, let's grab a purple cooler. I think purple is a great color for our kitchen to have, and I'm also gonna get some more crimson kitchen counters. I think we definitely need a sink as well because we need to wash our hands, especially if we're gonna be living here forever. And I'm also gonna grab a fridge, and what else do we need in a kitchen? Well, we need lots of storage, which is why I'm gonna put some barrels over here. Let's place the kitchen counters all the way over here, just like this. Yeah, I'm liking the positioning of that. Good job, Chip. While you do all of that, I'm gonna fill these barrels full of curtsies. Okay, but remember to add food that me and my family can have as well. I don't wanna go hungry down here just because you wanted some bird seeds. Well, I might accidentally forget, and that would be really funny. No, it wouldn't. It would be really bad, so I'm adding a bunch of kitchen cabinets up the back wall here. I'm gonna fill them with delicious things like cookies and also some cooked salmon as well. Cooked salmon? That sounds really yucky. Well, it kind of is, but only if you mix it with the cookies. That's why I'm separating them into different cabinets. You can't store fish and cookies in the same one. That's just gross. I'm gonna add a furnace so we can cook things, and then we'll be basically done. Yeah, that's awesome. Our kitchen's looking good. I guess I did trust the process, and it turned out really nice. Thanks, Milo. I'm also just gonna put coverings on these furnaces because you know how clumsy our family can be. They'll probably run in and try to touch it, and I don't want my kid burning his fingers. Yeah, I've never burned my fingers before because I'm not clumsy. You definitely are clumsy, Milo, and I think it's time that we decorate this inside room. It's gonna be the main entrance, so we need to make it look really lovely. Hey, if you're gonna call me clumsy, I'm not helping you decorate. What? Milo, you have to help me. If you don't help me, we'll run out of time and the meteor will destroy both our families. Whatever. Fine, I'll help you, but you have to stop calling me names. I will. Sorry, Milo. I didn't realize it upset you this much. For the floor, we need to grab some stone bricks, and for the walls, I'm thinking we use quartz. What? This is a pretty fancy secure house. I'm liking this a lot. Thanks, Milo. I really like it too. The fanciness is on purpose. If we make this really fancy, our families will be happy to stay down here, and my wife loves fancy things. Yeah, me too. I'm a pretty fancy guy with a pretty fancy taste. Yeah, you definitely are. I remember seeing one day that you would only eat bird seeds covered in gold. Yeah, because I have standards. I'm not going to have any yucky silver bird seeds, of course. Yeah, that would be kind of weird. I'm also going to make this wall have a big, big entranceway through it. It's going to lead somewhere important, but I'm not going to build that just yet. What's it going to lead to? It's going to lead to a bunch more important parts of this secure underground base, like farms and other survival things. Like my playroom? Uh, yeah, Milo, like your playroom. It's going to be a bit more important than that, but sure, we can build a place for you and both of our kids to play around in. Yeah, this is going to be awesome! It definitely will. Now that I've added this last bit of quartz, we're totally done with the walls, and we just need to make the ceiling here. What are we going to use for the ceiling? That's a really good question, Milo. I think I have the right idea. I say we use stone bricks as well. We did the same thing for the floor, and it's a pretty tough block, so if we use it for the ceiling too, we'll have better defense against the meteor. Seems Milo is really smart. You should be asking him for advice on everything. Milo, why are you talking about yourself like that? Well, I learned it in a book, and it said that if you talk about yourself in the third person, it makes you seem way cooler. <laughs> Way smarter. Uh, okay, good luck with that, Milo. I really hope it stops making you sound so silly. Milo disagrees with you. Milo is going to walk away now. Okay, Milo, you keep being silly like that, but now I think it is time to make the living room. This is where we're going to spend so much of our time with our families. Well, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't like the living room. What? You don't like the living room? Milo, what kind of room do you like? I like epic gaming rooms and rooms that the zoomies in. Well then, I guess we'll just have to make this living room really big, especially if we want all of our survival farms to branch off of it. Yeah, alright, let's make a big zoomie living room. 
yeah, we need to make this one really huge if it's gonna have enough space for you to zoom around in, and my kid is pretty energetic as well, so it needs enough space for him too. Oh goodness, I keep forgetting there's a real meteor that's gonna come hit us, but it's making me shake in my shoes! Yeah, me too. I think I'm gonna build a ladder up to our secret entrance so that I can check on my family. Hopefully they're okay! Yeah, hopefully they are. Well, I guess I'm gonna find out, and okay, I don't see them, Milo. I think something might be wrong, but okay, here's my kid here. That is really good, and hey, my wife's taking a swim in the wishing well. What? That's awesome! She's having real fun, but you know what's not fun? What is it, Milo? I can't find my family! Oh gosh, you're right. We better get looking for them before we continue building this bunker. We don't want to build it for four people if two of them have run away. Oh, where are they? But here, Chip, I found them! Whoa! Oh, that is such a relief! You guys can't be hiding like that. This is bad, Milo, and uh-oh, look, the meteor is so much bigger now. What the? I can't believe it's so much closer. Quickly, we gotta build this bunker in no time. Yeah, we really don't have much more time. Now we can finish making this living room as quick as possible. Quickly. Oh, goodness, we're gonna have to put so many safety measures in here. You're right, Milo. We can't have any of the explosion from this meteor destroying our way of life and hurting our families. That would be horrible. I wish I could just go punch the meteor. It's making me grumpy and annoyed. Don't do that, Milo. If you punch the meteor, it could break into a thousand tiny little meteors and we'd have a big problem on our hands. Oh, I guess that's true, but I'm just mad. Why did this have to happen to us today? I don't know, Milo, but I'm grabbing a bunch of materials to build our living room out of. We don't have a lot of time, so I say we hurry. I'm gonna add in the oak planks. We've done a really good job placing the stripped oak logs all the way around. Yeah, they're all facing upwards, and it's a really cool design. Thanks, Milo. I'm really proud of it. I worked super hard on thinking of it. Chip, I have a funny thought. What's the funny thought, Milo? This secure bunker is actually almost nicer than our normal houses. Maybe we should just move down here forever. But Milo, think about it. The sun is what we're going to miss so much if we stay down here forever. Maybe we should build a little glass looking thing that goes all the way up to the surface. An observatory? That's a great idea, Milo. It'll also help us keep track of the meteor. I won't place it just here though. We'll need to build it far away from the main part of the base because glass breaks really easily and it'll totally let the meteor in. Yeah, Milo! smart for that idea. Yeah, I guess you are, but I'm really smart for designing this floor. We're gonna build it just like this out of dark oak wood. It has to look really nice and cozy and warm if it's gonna be the living room where we spend all our time. Chip, don't you think the wood color's kind of clash? Um, it does at the moment, Milo, but once we add all the furniture inside this living room, it'll look really nice. Alright, I guess I'll just trust you again. Thanks, Milo. You can definitely trust me. Now, let's start adding in the dark oak planks inside here. Dark oak planks? They're not my most favorite. Yeah, I don't like them that much either. I definitely prefer the brighter wood colors, but hey, we need to use what we have in order to survive and build this base. Now that I've finished the floor, it is time to make the ceiling. I say we make the ceiling out of quartz as well, but not just any quartz. I'm gonna make it out of smooth quartz blocks. Doesn't this look so nice, Milo? Yeah, it looks really good. I'm actually liking all of your design decisions. Thanks, Milo. I'm really starting to get better at picking designs for things. My designs always used to be orange, concrete, and then quartz, but I'm branching out a lot. Yuck, orange is the worst color in the rainbow. Hey, no it's not. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna add more stripped oak logs right there, and perfect. Now we can start with the furniture. I think adding an orange and a blue sofa is Perfect. Yeah, now we have a color for both of us. Yuck, I hate this orange one. I don't want it near my blue one. Okay, fine, Milo. We can have different sides of the living room. An orange side and a blue side. That's much better. Now I get to decorate my blue side. I'm gonna decorate it better than you. No way, I'm gonna decorate my orange side better than you. If you decorate your blue side worse than I decorate my orange side, your family will probably leave and I don't think you want that, Milo. Hey, that's mean. This is gonna look really good and you're totally gonna be jealous. I don't know, Milo. I'm pretty confident in my design. I'm gonna do a really good job here. I'm 
yeah, we'll see about that, Milo. Your side is already looking ridiculous, and while you've been rushing, I've been picking the perfect materials to build my orange side out of. Just like this. Wow, that looks so beautiful already. I'm also going to have some tables over here, and I'll put some lamps on the tables. Look, you can even click them on and off. And I think we also need a flower pot on this table. It's going to be an orange tulip, but uh-oh, Milo, I can already hear the sounds of the emergency helicopters trying to stop the meteor. We need to hurry. It's getting closer. Oh, we've been spending all this time on this silly bomb, but we forgot what we were really doing. Yeah, you're right, Milo. I'm just going to add the carpet and then we'll be totally done with this thing. I'm going to make a heart and I'm going to make it blue and orange because deep down, we really do love each other. Wow, that's a bit of a joke. Hey, no, it's not, Milo. There is no joke about family love. Okay, perfect. Look, it's a heart going right down the middle and your side's looking a little messy, but you know what? It's what we need to do. If putting up with your mess will help me survive this meteor, then I'll do it, Milo. Oh. Right, then let's move on before I punch you or something. Hey, don't do that. That's really bad. But now it is time to make the bedrooms. We need to have a really big bedroom that can fit both of our families inside at the same time. At the same time? I don't want to share a bedroom with you. Hey, that's really mean, Milo, but we have to. We can't have too much space, otherwise we won't have time to build this whole underground secret base. But this meteor's gonna Uh, I don't know, Milo. We better hope that we can build this base well enough that it won't even matter. We'll be happy to sleep in the same room if we build it cool. Will you read me storybooks every night? Yes, I will, but only because you can't read them yourself. I know how difficult reading is for you. Yeah, most of the time I'm just pretending to read. I didn't actually read that book that I told you about before. I just looked at the squiggly line. What? You've never read Harry Potter, but you said that was your favorite. Yeah, but I just pretended it and I made up the story in my head. Oh wow Milo that's crazy but I'm gonna get the concrete colors that we need in order to build this bedroom. I'm also gonna grab some stairs and I know the exact perfect thing to make them out of. I'm gonna use quartz stairs. Oh there's lots of quartz in this house. I guess it is really strong to protect us against the meteor. Yeah, exactly. And it's really, really pretty. It's also my wife's favorite block, so I definitely have to build with it. Otherwise, she gets mad at me. Hey, what about my wife's favorite block? What's your wife's favorite block, Milo? It's waxed, exposed, cut copper. What, Milo? That's so long and complicated. Are you sure that's your wife's favorite block? Yeah, it really is. And I like to put it everywhere, so I better use it in the little bedroom. Okay, uh, I guess that's fine. Your floor can be made out of waxed exposed cut copper, and my floor's gonna be made out of something a little nicer than that. What do you mean? Waxed exposed cut copper is super nice. Yeah, but it's a little weird. You're working on beeswax, basically. It's gonna get all slippery and sticky and gross. No, it's nice and sticky on my feet. It feels awesome. Ugh, Milo, you're disgusting. I don't want sticky on my feet at all. That's why I'm gonna build my bedroom out of spruce or something nice like that. Well, you better not come over to my side of the bedroom then, buddy. How am I gonna read you your bedtime stories then, Milo? You can just shout it to me from the other side of the room. That's not very relaxing, but okay, I'll totally do that. I'm gonna build my side out of some spruce planks. Yeah, that's gonna look way nicer. Yeah, boring, boring. Hey, it's not boring. It's nice and cozy. And I also have a really cool idea for the ceiling. I'm going to build it out of skulk. And I know that's weird because it's where the warden comes from. But if you look at it closely, it looks like a starry night sky. I know that both of our families are going to miss sleeping above ground. So this will hopefully make us less homesick. Wow, it does look really pretty. And I'm going to put a little thing here for the moon. Yeah, that does look nice. But Milo... Why don't we use end stone for the moon? See how it looks just like the real moon does? Yeah, it does. It looks really good. Apparently the moon's made out of cheese. Uh, I don't know about that, Milo. That seems pretty weird. What if you take a bite and it turns out to just be made out of rocks? But I watched a documentary that told me that it's made out of cheese. And that's where all the cheese comes from. Okay, that's kind of weird. I didn't know that. But I guess if a documentary says it, it must be true. I'm going to place beds on both sides. These can be our beds. And we'll also make some for our wife and our kid. Yeah, they have to have 
the most comfortable beds in the world. Yeah, except mine's definitely the most comfortable. I've given myself a double bed. Well, I have a double bed as well, I guess. Now, we need to grab some trap doors, and I think I know exactly why. Instead of just having our babies on regular beds, we need to build them cots so that they can't just run around and escape everywhere. That is so true. I need a good night's sleep, and I do not need my baby jumping all over me. Yeah, that would be really annoying. Now I'm going to place some bedside cabinets right here. Mine's orange and yours is blue. We'll also give some for our wives right here. Actually, ew, I accidentally placed the blue one on my side. Yeah, keep blue over here, buddy. You don't deserve such a beautiful color. Hey, blue's not that beautiful. I think the best color is still definitely orange, but because you like blue, I've given you a blue orchid on your side. Hey, that's really pretty. I like it a lot. Thanks, Chip. You're welcome, Milo. But look, our bedrooms are already done. This is looking so cool. Now we need to make bathrooms so that we can actually go to the toilet. Yeah, because one thing about me is I need to go to the toilet a lot. And when I get nervous about meteors, I need to go extra a lot. Yeah, definitely. I say we build the bathrooms at the end of the living room right here. The bathroom can be a lot smaller than the other rooms because I don't think bathrooms are meant to be very big. I'm just building the ceiling up like this and I think I know exactly what we can build this bathroom out of. Let's build this bathroom out of mossy cobblestone. Bathrooms are pretty gross so nobody wants to spend time in it and this fits the look pretty well. Do we really want to have a moldy bathroom? Are you sure? Yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it looks a lot nicer than regular cobblestone. Regular cobblestone just looks yucky. Yuck, this is even worse. It looks like it has slime everywhere. I'm going to feel sick when I go to the bathroom. Okay, well then you can replace some of the blocks with other blocks if you like, Milo. It doesn't have to be mossy cobblestone. Okay, I'm going to use some strip jungle log. Strip jungle log? Ew. Okay, I'm just going to add a door here so I don't have to see that. Let me grab a toilet so that I can put it in and then get out of there before I have to see what it looks like after you're done. What do you think about this, Chip? I'm really liking it. Ugh, it looks terrible, but I don't have time to argue with you on this, Milo. I only have time to add a bathroom sink. Let's grab one that's... Uh, I think lime is perfect. It looks just like the walls. Perfect. Now we can wash our hands after we're done with the bathroom. Wait, you're meant to wash your hands after the bathroom? Wait a second. You don't wash your hands? Ew, that's gross, Milo. Hey, it's not my fault. Nobody ever told me I needed to wash my hands. Ugh, I bet nobody else told your family either. Wait, speaking of your family, we better check on them, Milo, and my family too. We need to make sure that they're okay with the meteor getting closer. Oh my gosh, Chip, it's still getting closer. You're right, Milo, it's even closer to hitting us than last time. And uh-oh, I think my kid's still having fun playing in that cave, but where's my wife? Oh no, where's my family? Oh, thank goodness. They're just right here. Sweetie, come back to me, please. Oh no, if my wife stays for too long out here with all that meteor coming towards us, she's going to be in big trouble. If she's out here while it hits, she's not going to make it and I'll be alone forever. Oh goodness, this is terrible. Chip, we really got to finish that bunker so we have a safe place to stay. Not until I find my wife, Milo. I do not want to leave her behind. She's the most important thing to me. Okay, you Okay, Milo, I'll be there in a second. I really hope nothing bad happens while I'm out here. Excuse me, have you guys seen my wife at all? Ugh, they're not being helpful to me at all right now. Wait a second, that's a bee, and I think it might be trying to lead me somewhere. Maybe my wife went back over to our old house. There are so many happy memories there, and I know she misses it. Living in this underground base is not going to be the same. Milo, wait, I found them. Oh, my wife was just hiding in the cave taking care of our baby. That is perfect. All right, it is time to head back down here and start making some more epic designs. The first order of business is to get rid of this crazy, ugly starting area. It needs to look way nicer, and it's going to be the first thing our families see. We do not want them to see our base for the first time and think it's ugly, so I'm going to add a bunch of quartz here. 
I'm gonna add more quartz pillars just like this. Whoa, this entrance room looks so fancy already. And I'm also gonna change the blocks behind the ladder. I do not want dirt and cobblestone peeking through. That is gross and no normal stone either. This whole thing needs to look really neat and well made. Perfect, now I can place back that ladder. I don't wanna forget to do this. Otherwise, we'll be stuck down here forever. I think the farming area needs to be over here. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, it's gonna lead in the direction of where our first houses that we ever made were. Wait a second, it's a whole cave system. This is pretty bad, but it could be kind of a good thing. Hey Milo, get in here. We need to place blocks all throughout this cave to block it up, and I know the exact right one. Let's get some obsidian. I think this is exactly what we need. If we leave some of these cave entrances open, the meteor will be able to blow us up through the cave, and that is not what we want at all. Let's continue doing this obsidian for all entrances to this cave. We can't miss a single spot. Perfect. Now that we've done this, we've officially secured off this cave environment. We can now start turning it into a farming area. In order to do this, we need to add a bunch of spruce stairs right along here. I'm gonna start placing them as the floor, just like this. While I do this, Milo, you just need to help me break the roof a little bit to make this hallway a bit wider. All right, I'll break the roof. I'm onto it. Perfect. Now we just have to keep placing all of these planks along the floor here. Once it reaches the end though, it's time to get out some spruce staircases. I'm gonna place them so that it leads right down into the floor of this cave. Wow, I'm really excited to see what this ends up looking like. Right, look, I've placed the bottom of these stairs and now I think it's time to place the farming area right on top of the obsidian. Let's get some farmland and I think we also need some water buckets. It's also important to pick what seeds we want to grow. We can grow some torch flowers for some light and some beetroot too. Let's also get some melon and pumpkin as well as some regular seeds. I'm also going to grow some carrots. No plant is getting left behind here, that's for sure. I'm going to place the farmland just like this, but it's really important that we add water in the middle. If we don't add water, all of the farmland will dry up and we will have nowhere to grow any of our crops. See, the farmland is already getting hydrated and Milo, why are you taking a bath in the farm? Mom, that's gross. I thought this was a bath. No, Milo, that's crazy. It is not a bath. It's where we are going to grow all of the food that will keep us, our wives, and our babies alive. We're going to have every crop that there could be. We're never going to go hungry down here. No, we're definitely not. If you keep making the floor like you have out of those spruce planks, I'll keep making planter boxes all around this farming area. Let's have some more over here. You got it. I think this is perfect. I just need to add some more trapdoors like this. And uh-oh, the farmland is already starting to dry up. Let's add some water here. I'm going to replace this dirt with more farmland before it's too late. All right, this is looking great. I need to grab some torches to put around everywhere before we place any of these plants down. Without torches, it is too dark for any of these plants to grow and I can't put them anywhere. But if we go right next to the torchlight, boom, we can grow them properly. Let's put the torch flowers on the left and then some beetroot followed by regular wheat and then carrots. Over here, we need to place our melon and pumpkin in a really weird pattern. This way, they each have a block to grow on. If we didn't do this, they would grow into each other and the melons and pumpkins would never actually grow. It would be really embarrassing and we'd probably starve. I'm gonna place more torches on this wall and this farming box can be a mix of carrot and regular seeds. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm loving this so far. But there is one part of this farm that is definitely missing and that is a tree farm. A tree farm? What business do trees have down here? Well, trees are going to help us have an endless supply of wood. Imagine we have a crafting table and we need to make a pickaxe to mine out of here, but all we have is a bunch of stone and no sticks. We'd be stuck down here forever and I'm not going to let that happen. That's why we need to dig right up here so that we can have a growing area for our trees. Trees need sunlight to grow, so it's important we let the sunlight reach them. In order to reach the sunlight from somewhere so deep, we really do have to mine really really far up into the mountain. Perfect, uh oh, I can see the meteor and it is getting so close right now. I hope it misses us, but I don't know. I have a bad feeling that it might go right towards us and get our families and our babies. We don't have much time, Milo. We have to go quicker than I thought. Even quicker than we already have? But we've been zooming. Yeah, we have, but I think we need to go faster. Come on, help me mine out these blocks, Milo. I don't want to do this on my own. It goes way slower that way. Sorry, I've been building a sitting area. What the? What's going on over here? 
Well, Milo, this is going to be one of the parts of our base that go all the way to the surface. We'll block it off to make sure it's safe, but we need light for our trees to grow. That is so true. We better get light installed right now. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure that there's an obsidian wall right at the top. If there isn't, then when the meteor hits, it'll totally blow up our base through this exposed section. I'm not going to let that happen. That would be really bad. At least the exposed section is kind of far away from our bedroom. Exactly. That's why I designed it to be down a really long hallway. If it was next to all of our other things, we'd be toast if it blew up. Now I'm going to grab some glass, and I think white glass is perfect. Let's place it just like this, right at the top. I need to make sure I place the final one while I'm inside, and boom! Look, now we just have to get rid of the dirt on the walls. The more dirt we have in these walls, the more the explosion will do damage to the sides of our base. That would be terrible, so I'm not going to let it happen. I think we've done a good job, but I'm just going to extend the obsidian a little bit down. It's going to be like pillars reaching to the ground. But Chip, I just thought of something. What is it, Milo? Trees can't grow on obsidian, silly. That's a really good point, and that's why instead of obsidian, I'm going to build the tree its very own grass platform. It needs to be in the center of this obsidian thing, so I need to make sure it's a nice square right over here. Perfect. Now we need to place trap doors on the edges, just like this. We don't need any of the dirt spilling out, and by placing trap doors, we also make it a little stronger. This means the meteor will have a harder time blowing it up. I'm going to remove some of the obsidian so that the tree has room to grow, and once we place the final obsidian bits here, we'll be able to place down our first sapling. What kind of tree are you going to plant? Well, the first tree is going to be an oak sapling, but I think we need to have some chests over here. It's important that we build these properly because they are going to store every single kind of tree that we could ever need. We're going to have a big storage room here as well. That's a great idea. Thanks, Milo. I'm really proud of it. This will allow us to never run out of wood, ever. Yeah, and I'm also going to put lots of bird seeds in there so I never go hungry. Good idea. That will also mean that we have infinite seeds to use on the wheat farm, which will definitely help us make infinite cookies. No, no, no. These are not for the wheat farm. These are for Milo's dinner plate. What? Okay, Milo. As long as you keep it on that side of the chest so that the saplings are not ruined or messy, I'm okay with that. I'm going to add one of every single kind of sapling so that no matter what wood type we need to use, we have enough. And there are also some other types of saplings. The crimson and warped fungus can also turn into trees, and not to mention, the mangrove propagules can also become trees. I'm not forgetting those because we've already used crimson and warped wood in this base. Let's add some more obsidian to the floor. You can never be too fortified, and I'll also add it to this wall over here. Perfect. Wow, that's looking way better. I'm going to link that obsidian up to the obsidian that protects us from the meteor. And not to mention filling in this wall as well. If there's not enough obsidian, the meteor will get through. I wonder if I could turn all of this obsidian into a nether portal. Milo, if you do that, then that would be a really bad idea. The nether portal can spawn piglins, and ghasts and blaze can get through. That's so true. I guess we really don't need that when there's a huge meteor coming for us. That's right, Milo. Having ghasts and blaze coming through a portal would be doom for our families. It would be really, really bad. Very, very bad indeed. Once I place these final blocks of obsidian, we'll be done with the tree farm, and we can get started on my next thing that will help us survive. Well, what's that gonna be, Chip? It's gonna be a bunch of redstone rooms that will keep us entertained. This base needs to be secret, so they can't be too loud, but it'll definitely be fun. Otherwise, we'll lose our minds from boredom. Redstone rooms? That doesn't sound very fun to me. It will, Milo. The redstone is gonna form puzzles and games, and I know you love games. No, redstone is confusing, and it makes me angry. Don't worry, Milo. That's why I'll build it for us. You don't even have to think about it. I know how badly it confuses you. All right, but if I see one bit of redstone, I'm gonna freak out. What, Milo? Just because I'm building using redstone does not mean you need to attack it. Well, we'll see about that. Milo, if you attack my redstone and it gets totally destroyed because of you, I'm gonna be so mad. Well, I'll try not to attack it. <laughs> Milo, you're such a cheeky guy. Well, what can I say? I learned it from the best. What? Who did you learn it from? Not you, that's for sure. Hey, that's mean. Now that we've done that, I think I need to make this hallway look a little bit nicer. Because it's